Hi, Jim Sobach. Today I want to talk about set-offs. What is a set-off? Um, this can be misunderstood and a little bit complicated, but there's probably an easy way to remember it. A set-off is simply a device where two parties owe each other money. So let's say um, I owe you $200, but you owe me $300. And let's say that I have $100 of your money in my possession somehow. Would the law require me, I can't really take your $100 because you already, I already owe you $200, but you owe me $300. So I can simply say, I'm setting this off. That's what a set off is. Now, the set off is not something that's unique to bankruptcy, but bankruptcy law does recognize set offs. Here's a definition. Right, a setoff allows entities to owe each other money to apply their mutual debts against each other, or thereby avoiding the absurdity of making A pay B when B owes A. It's just a device. Now, in bankruptcy, it comes into play usually with tax intercepts. Okay, so your client files bankruptcy, they wrote an income tax refund, the government comes in and sets it off, takes, takes the tax refund. And we get these up, oh, it's been a violation because they took the tax refund. Not necessarily, it could be a proper set-off. What's the test for a proper set-off? Has to be a pre-petition debt and a pre-petition asset. If that's, if that's the case, you can do a set-off. So here's an example. Client files bankruptcy on January 1, 2019. He owes the IRS $5,000 for his 2016 tax return. Is that a pre-petition debt? Of course. He is owed a $3,000 refund on his 2018 tax refund. Is that a pre-petition asset? Yes, because he filed in January 19. This is for his refund for 18. In that case, the government could come in and take that $3,000 tax refund. We owe you $3,000, but you owe us $5,000, so we're going to set off that $3,000. Um, proper set off. Another example. Say he files in December 31, 2018. Owes the IRS $5,000 for the 2016 tax refund. Pre-petition debt? Clearly. But he, oh, he's owed a $3,000 tax refund for his 2019 return. Okay? They grab his 2019 return. What is the result? It is a, uh, it's an improper set-off. Why? You had a pre-petition debt but you did not have a pre-petition asset. That 2019 tax refund arose post-petition. That would be an improper set-off. Usually you don't see the IRS making improper set-offs. We'll look at them, but almost always they know what the law is and the, the, the set-offs are proper.